Hi guys and welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at Avoto's new AI shadow read detection tools which have been added to their background placement uh, window. And what this does is if we take a look at this shot here and we, we'd want to uh, change the backdrop, what normally happens, let's say we pick gray just to kind of go with this gray backdrop. Can you see underneath the shoes? that shadow is now being removed. So what I'll do, I'll undo that quickly. So this shadow here gets removed the second we now click on one of these uh, backdrop tools. So what Avoto have now done is added a AI retain shadows tool to actually bring that shadow um, back. So if we scroll down below, can you see where it says shadows? Uh, it, it will say AI retain shadows. And if we click on that, it now adds in that shadow back in. And what's really interesting um, about this I've, I found was actually it really does bring in the same shape back. So if we look at this shape here and we go and add that, that on, can you see the shadow is new enough the same? And what's really good is you can now control how much you want that shadow back in. So if we put the amount on zero, the same original cutout, you don't see the shadow. And then as we bring it up, that shadow comes in more and more and more prominent. Now, of course, I think this is a really interesting tool because if we don't have this, it kind of looks like uh, our model is just stuck onto the gray backdrop and having this shadow back in kind of gives a bit more three three di dimensional look to to uh, the image as if we are shooting this against a gray backdrop with a slight a slight curve. Just having that shadow just coming off to our right hand, hand side here like it was um, originally shot. Uh, what's also interesting is we've got these uh, blend modes. So if we put it on normal, you see a normal shadow. And then if you put it on multiply, it it just um, makes that uh, sh shadow darker. Um, and also if we got um, change it down to soft light, it makes it a softer uh, shadow. But what I probably recommend doing is keeping it on normal, unless you are working with a certain hard light or a soft light where if we put mul mul multiply on, it makes that uh, shadow harder and darker. And if we put the, the soft light on, it makes it softer. So it might be worth when you do do this just to remember what lighting more modifier you've also been uh, using. So if, if, you, if you've been using a soft light or a hard, hard light, um, just so, so then you are bringing the correct shadow uh, back. Now, if you do want to add a shadow in, uh, you can. You can add a hard shadow in and you can see uh, Heidi's now got a shadow to her um, right hand hand side and we can r make that more uh, vi visible or not. We can also make it a little bit uh, blurrier uh, as well. So this will be really good if you're trying to add in shadow. So if if you are working with a, a little bit of a soft light, just remember to uh, soften those um, those just shadows a, a little bit. So so that's quite an interesting one, but it is quite strong still. So let's try the gradient. Yeah, so that just 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 so softs it, causes it to fade away as if we are um, in a bit of a softer light uh, in, in environment and we've got more more modes uh, again, sorry blend modes again so we've got the normal the multiply and the soft light so you, so you can actually now create your own um, shadow so let's try the soft one as well yeah so that actually makes it even more faded away that actually looks a little bit more natural to the um, shot because we have got a shadow going down Heidi this side so that shadow there does actually blend in in very 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 well um, so uh, let's try the drop drop one. Yeah, so as if Heidi is now more up against the wall, this actually, I, I don't think this tool actually works very, very well uh, for this image, but I do really like the hard and, and soft light ones to kind of give more of a natural uh, look. So hopefully this can actually fix some of those issues that uh, you may actually have, especially adding in, in comp composites into uh, your TUD images and fixing those uh, tweaks. So Avoto do sponsor this uh, video. They have offered us a discount code, um, which you can find in the description for 15% off. I've been using Avoto since April 2024 and really enjoyed uh, using it. So these tools are uh, really cool to actually uh, add on and played played with when, when we've also been editing our images. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video.